three. Oh my gosh, they're tied together. Why would you do that? Okay, well today we are here at Bedford Street Antiques. I just stocked my booth and so I figured that I'd do a little bit of shopping before I took off. Um, you know the rule, you move stuff out of the shop, you gotta move stuff back into the shop. Just kidding. <laughs> I said that to the ladies up front and they're like, whose rule is that? I'm like, well, it's not Andrew's rule. <laughs> Definitely not Andrew's rule, but anyway, uh, let's see what we can find. Here we go. So I'm gonna start here in this case because it looks like it has been replenished since my last visit here with the boys. Um, this down here is very nice. I kind of wonder if that is signed. I've got 50, what is that? Acrylic Lucite, loose and base, be careful. Oh my gosh, that's amazing. And it's only $30. I think I'm gonna probably need a key for that. That is a crazy cool sculpture for only 30 bucks. And I think I have to have that. Let's see what else we've got in here. Looks like the Barbini Swan is still here. These look like Carlo Moretti. Yes, three Carlo Moretti wine glasses, $100. All right, I think that's really it. I'm going to have to get a key for this, but let's look in here, shall we? jack in the pulpit this reminds me of the one that i got at lemoyne a few weeks ago because it also had those uh, white lines on it that one however was cobalt blue i think it ended up selling for 90 something dollars which was really incredible i didn't expect it to go for that much but um, this is a cranberry version i don't know i'm not as excited about cranberry as i am about the blue the blue was just cute and stubby and it was adorable <laughs> It appears as though they are moving in some of their Christmas stuff here. What are these? Those are individual ash trees. And we have beaded butterfly napkin rings. Flustria heirloom. And there is a Christmas tree back here. I told myself I cannot buy any more ceramic Christmas trees this year unless they are for resale because I really splurged on the last one. I think I spent $200 on the last one. This is a really nice size and it's only $80. I am tempted to buy this one for resale because I feel like as Christmas gets closer, that one could be worth more. And obviously I wouldn't, I don't think I'd be able to double my money. I don't know really what these go for right now at the moment actually. I don't know. Anyway, it's beautiful. I think I'm going to pass on it today, though. I'd be too tempted to keep it. I have such nice glass in here. I feel like I need to be moving more glass into my booth. That's very... Oh my gosh, they're tied together. Why would you do that? <laughs> glass teapot scroll design. This is very thin, is what I was going to say. And it kind of reminds me of Venetian glass. My phone is ringing. This here appears to be Italian. I don't see any markings on it. I kind of wonder if it would have had an underplate. Is that $1.50? I think it is. I think this is only $1.50. It's a tree with holes. $1.50. <laughs> I can't say no to $1.50. Look at that creepy clown back there made of shells. Okay, anyway, let's get back over here to this teapot. I just have a suspicion that it's Venetian. I might look it up. I just don't, I think I've said it in a previous video. I, I can't get behind warm liquids and glass. It just doesn't do anything for me. But I will look this up and see if I can find one. Okay, well, I couldn't find any similar, and I'm not going to spend too much time standing here searching for it. So uh, we'll, we'll take our dollar and 50 cent, um, tree with holes and I think that's all I'm gonna grab out of here right well, I was getting ready to walk up front and ask for a key when this thing caught my eye what in the world it's purple and green let's pull that out is that a signature on the bottom hang on let me decipher this I shouldn't be holding this with just one hand this 
definitely a marking of some sort. It looks more like a number though. It looks like 1040. That thing's crazy and I think he's got $35 on it. So I'm just gonna stick it under my armpit and head up front. I really like the looks of that uh, Fenton in the back. $95 Paul has on that. Got some winky Santas here. And I kind of wanted to see this. This is $58. Unusual Hager vase. Yeah, that's not one I've ever seen before. I thought it might be Hager. I'm not brave enough to pull it out and turn it over though. <laughs> so I'm glad he put it on the tag. All right. Oh, here's a kitty cat. I mean, there's two kitty cats there, but I like the looks of this one a little bit more. <laughs> that one just has blank stare. This one's a little bit more <laughs> aware. $9, I almost said $950. $9.50 on that. All right. Let's see what's in here. There's some model cars. Sometimes Paul stashes good stuff back here. Hmm. He's got a few things stashed back here, but nothing that's really... Well, not, you know, those mantle lusters are very nice. They're kind of a burgundy color. This is kind of wild. I've never seen anything like this. Bocklings? Bockling made in Germany. <laughs> I've seen the little monk figurines before, but never... Attached to a drinking glass. I believe these are called oyster and pearl. Forty-eight on those. Look to the future. Jim Short, five dollars. Kind of like the sentiment that goes with that one. That would make for a nice gift. So I think I'll, I'll pick that up. If it doesn't prove to have any resale value, I will gift it to someone. It is actually a collector's plate. There's some colorful dogs. Let's get a closer look at the colorful dogs. Celebrating diversity, Kessler. It's signed. <laughs> I like that. 65 though. I'm not familiar with the artist. Oh my gosh. What does this say? Italian <laughs> flower basket. <laughs> Took me a moment to process that. Oh man, there is damage on it. I'll tell you what this reminds me of. This reminds me of the place that I went to in Allentown, Pennsylvania. I cannot remember the name of the antique mall, but I bought a picture looking thing that I could not even grasp it because it had all of these flowers and like texture and it was sharp and that was that was French and that's what this reminds me of I think there's a little bit too much damage for me to pay 68 for it but it's very intricate and very flashy in fact here's another one this one is 38 and appears to be in a little bit better condition. I do see a break. It's so common to find these with breaks though. So, I mean, I, I feel like you're good if you can find it with like just a few <laughs> breaks. Um, but this I think is one of those that would you wouldn't be able to grab unless you grab it by the handle because it looks sharp. Here's a cutesy little kitty, $7 on that. Spaghetti Poodle, <laughs> Washington DC souvenir, better than an outhouse souvenir. I was actually drawn into this booth because of this. Uh, 
is a nice looking lamp. I sold one of these recently that had a cabin on it. They have 25 on this. Um, I'll take this off so I don't accidentally drop it. Let's see how much this weighs. It's a shame that the base is a pot metal and so it's um you can see the paint is chipping off of it i would assume that this may have been an oil light that was made into an electric light it's only 25 it's probably i could probably make money on this but i'm going to pass on it today mudlin and studio little houses I've never heard of that one before hmm Mudlin and I might have to look that one up for future reference there's a May Angel in there it's been a while since I came through here and looked through the case some glowy glass and oh my gosh look at that Murano what do they have on that? I don't know. I don't know. The sticker's inside. Can you guys see it? You might not be able to see it. I would like to know how much they have on that. Yeah, $30. I'll take it. Okay. That's a pretty bird vase. Mm, looks like Asian characters on the bottom. $49, though. There's some enamel on copper. It does look like there's damage around the edge though. It's a shame that's pretty common. It has a nice mid-century modern design though. Looks like everyone is getting Christmas into their booths, which is kind of funny because when I was at the shop today pricing stuff for my booth, I was looking at Christmas stuff and thinking, it's too soon, I can't do that. And now I'm like, I wish I'd done it. I love these trees. Um, and I believe that they are old sweaters that people um, just form. I think it's styrofoam. I just think they're so cool looking and they're great decor. All right, well, I'm going to venture upstairs and see what I can find up here. As I mentioned, it is Tuesday. And that means that Paul is really stocking his boots. Let's see what we can find. Let's see what we have here. Oh my gosh, look at the flowers on that. I love these hand knotted rugs. Hook rug, I should say, that's what they're called. This is a really pretty one with flowers on it. I don't know if that would be a bath mat. I guess I think I might have it upside down. Oh, it's only 35. So pretty and colorful. Let's see what the other one looks like. I don't really like this one as much. I feel like if I had to choose between the two, I'd choose the one I have. This one's 39 too. Looks like it might be a little bit older. That's probably why. There are some ice cream plates. What would I call these the last time I saw them? And a lot of you in the comments were like, Jocelyn, those are ice cream plates. I just never thought of ice cream being served on plates before, so it kind of threw me a little bit. There's a whole set here for $12. Here are a few more spaghetti dogs stashed back here. $6 for the white one. Uh, you can see it has this little loop there that it would have been attached to some baby doggies. Look at this. $18, it's like a miniature, miniature base. Put that up front so everybody can see it. Mmm, that's nice. What is that? Copper vase with flowers. Everything's gonna fall. I like the figural flowers. It kind of gives it like a nouveau style, but it looks to be contemporary. I had to guess. That is a wild looking vase. <laughs> I'm kind of curious about it, so I'm going to pull it out and try to turn it and check out the bottle. What is it? Limited edition registered. 
Interesting. It like kind of wants to be Staffordshire, I think. <laughs> it's kind of crazy. Paul has broken out all of the Christmas blow molds. Milk glass apron. That's pretty. 35 on that. I think I have one at the shop that I need to list. Um, it's Silvercrest. It's been in a box forever. So um, I don't really need another one just yet. $14 on the carnival glass. Those look like pansies. Hmm. How much? $14. don't think I've seen that pattern before. Not familiar with it. I may look it up. Okay, so I looked it up, and it look it looks like it's a little bit under retail, uh, but there's really not enough room there for me to make a profit. So this is interesting because it looks very similar to um, some wine art that I got a few months ago um, at Middletown, Maryland Goodwill. But I think it's a different signature because this one's easy to read, and I can never decipher the one on my artwork. I rounded the corner and noticed this artwork here. It's marked Irene Campbell. I think that's New York City. I'm not very familiar with my cities, um, but I think that, I think that's New York. Maybe. Correct me if I'm wrong. It's very pretty, but I don't need artwork right now. Vintage cabinet 85. This thing is wild. Brass coffee dispenser full of peanuts. <laughs> that is super cool. There's a hobbyist bunny back there with crazy eyes. That looks like it has some age, but unfortunately you can see without even lifting it up that there is a crack in the bottom. note we're gonna head back downstairs I can't remember if I showed this the last time I was here meet in the Philippines I think it made to look like folk art <laughs> little devil this is our last stop for the day Those are sweet figurines. I wonder who makes those. They look like they might be Hush and Ruther. They did bend down and look at the bottom. Some of them do anyway. The piggy probably not. He's got a four leaf clover in his mouth. Looks like Raku. I want to sign, but I can't make it out. This one also. This one is Stan. Old house potter. Is that what it says? I can't really read it. <laughs> Set it down gently. It's red scratches. Yeah. Good boy. Good boy. Yeah. Okay, well my total spend there at Bedford today was $130. I didn't buy a whole lot today. I didn't buy much, um, but I got some great pieces. I'm very excited about that Lucite flower arrangement. I thought that was really cool. And that crazy vase. It was so funny, I ran into Paul on the second floor and <laughs> I said, have you been putting stuff by my booth to tempt me? And he's, he laughed. Um, <laughs> but then he's like, I put a vase down there that was purple and green. I'm like, oh, I found it. I found it and I'm buying it. So anyway, uh, I'm gonna get out of here now. I'm gonna head home. Um, I think I'm gonna make chicken soup for dinner. We'll see how that goes. Hopefully everyone lives through it. But I'm gonna end the video here and I hope you guys enjoyed it. I will see you all with you tomorrow. So long. I know I
it's nothing new, but it's so good to see. 